Two teams, six countries, 11 games, countless memories. This past August, the Elam men's and women's basketball teams each had the chance to travel Europe to share new experiences both on and off the court. Um, it was definitely very culturing, uh, very different than here, but overall, I mean, we a lot of us have never been over there, so it was a great experience for us to go over there and play um, against some different competition, and you know, some of the rules were different, the lane was much wider, the three-point line was further back, that kind of stuff. We saw three different countries, we, you know, stayed in numerous hotels, saw all these museums, um, and then got to do what we love to do, most importantly. Um, seven times. I want to say maybe three or four of the players had ever been overseas before. So just to have that opportunity was great. It was a good experience for us to bond because we have a whole new coaching staff, uh, some new freshmen, so it was really a good opportunity for us to get a head start. And the Phoenix did just that, with the women sporting an impressive 7-0 record abroad, while the men went 2-2 two two against some very experienced European opponents. You know, just the competition that we got was great. You know, we're playing for the most part against grown men, you know, guys in their late 20s, early 30s, and um, you know, it really challenged us because they're bigger than us and older than us and more experienced and um, you know I think we responded for the most part. In Italy we we had no you know no student section no nobody cheering for us so all we had was each other so we had to really you know build on that and just um, build each other up something I'll never forget just that we fought the whole game. Well the first game just kind of like the first scrimmage of the season is kind of a little rough, kind of a little shaky. You're feeling each other out. It was really cool to see how you kind of measured up against professional players, uh, European professionals. So I think that was kind of a highlight to see that we can definitely play with that type of level. Um, and it's definitely gives us a lot of confidence that we can, you know, really start to thrive in this conference. The trip wasn't all about basketball. The teams expanded their horizons by taking classes, exploring Europe, and leaning on each other to get through the day. We had uh, assignments during the day to like go and tie a balloon to a trash can next to the Louvre or something like that. I had a blast just um, you know, spending time with my teammates. When you're over there, um, you know, obviously not a lot of English being spoken, so you're very reliant on each other. We're trying to read menus and it's in French or Dutch or you know so we're like I want that what that person has. When in Paris things like that we've figured out that they put eggs on everything and you know it might be on top of your sandwich it might be on top of your pizza. And we also went on a bike ride in uh, the Netherlands which was <laughs> it was really fun but it just happened to be monsooning when we were there so we were on a bike ride for like 16 miles and it was just downpouring the whole time. Going to the new Schwanstein Castle in Germany which is um, the castle that Walt Disney modeled his like Cinderella castle after, and that was just amazing. The you know how big it was, and we went on a hike you know up a mountain with some of the guys, and that was just a, a cool experience. Our final day of the trip, we uh, spent some time in Italy um, at Lake Como, um, and I think just um, being out on the water, uh, one boat, one team, one family, just hanging out together, um, that was. That was something special. The, the trip was amazing. I hope that, you know, I wish every college basketball player could have that opportunity. Well, I think that it's definitely something that you should do in your lifetime. You need to go, um, to, whether it be Europe, somewhere, and experience something different. I just think it's really important that, that we thank Elon and thank the administration and Dr. Eric Hall, who went with us on the trip, for providing a great experience. I think. Uh, um, I can speak for all of us when, when we say we grew and we bonded on that trip and um, we had a great time for sure. We look forward to seeing the teams take the court later this year. For the Elon Phoenix Weekly, I'm Joe DiRienzo.